came out here earlier, but it was too dark to tape. Here's the roosters we're going to be calling today. Just five this time. Because we incubated this batch to add to our layer flock. <coughs> Good morning. All right, it's much lighter now. We just got back from milking. And we're pulling out all the chicken culling stuff to get it cleaned up and ready for operation. We will do a, I'll do a list of equipment in just a minute once we get it all set up. You'll need buckets or things to catch blood in, put guts in. These are restraining cones or pulling cones. You'll need those to put the chicken in to restrain them. And then once we're done with that, you'll need a pot with uh, hot water, about uh, 165 to 170 degrees. Now this is an optional piece of equipment. It's very expensive and I would only recommend doing getting it if you're gonna be calling a lot of chickens. But it does work really good. It just plucks the feathers for you. If not, you can do it by hand. Then you'll need a table and knives. That's for uh, gutting. And then this one will be for uh, slitting the arteries in their throats. And then this is also optional, but it's a sink table to help you rinse off blood off the chickens when you're done. Um, you could also just use a hose if you don't have a sink table. Okay, so the list of the equipment that you actually need is pretty low and it's all pretty inexpensive. Um, here's another optional piece of equipment. These are hot cold, cold gloves, like welding gloves. And uh, we use these to whoever's dipping the chickens can wear them so they don't burn themselves on the hot water. But that's also optional, you can just be careful not to get your hands in the water. And then over here, I'm gonna bring these over too. These are like rubber aprons. You could also just wear work clothes, but these were like, I think at the time I bought them, they were like 14 bucks for the two. You also need a thermometer to check the temperature of your water over there. And the boys are sharpening knives. All right, so that's all the equipment you need. We're gonna be calling those five roosters and I'm gonna go over the steps with you guys. All right, the last thing on the list is a way to keep the birds cold. This is gonna be cooler refrigerator. We're gonna do something a little different though this time. This is ice water, but it has salt in it. Now we did half a cup to every gallon of water. This is an experiment that someone um, told us that they do, is that the way that they call the birds, which is the same way that we're gonna call them today, um, which I'll show you them, but they also put them in a salt water brine for an hour and then go ahead and either can them or bag them and freeze them. Um, however they, are gonna do that chicken but we're gonna try this and they said that the meat is usually tender because usually you have to leave them in a cold area either on ice in a cooler or in a refrigerator for two to three days so their muscles to relax so that they're tender but this is a way I guess so that you can process them right away without needing that two to three days so we're gonna try this with five birds better try it with five than 20 right so we're gonna try this with our five roosters today and we're gonna see how tender they turn out all right, here's our first victim in the restraining cone. 
Now, the first step is to stop feeding your birds 24 hours before calling. This is an optional step, although we do it every time. And you can feed them grit too, but this is to get their crops cleaned out um, so that you're not pulling out half digested food from their crops while you're trying to get it out. Um, you can do it without, I guess. I mean, you can just clean the food out, but it's a little gross, so I think it's better just stop feeding them 24 hours before. So you're gonna put them in the restraining comb, head down, and we put them in breast side out towards us. Okay, and I'm gonna have dad come over and he's gonna show you how to call the chicken humanely. All right, so he's just gonna slip the jugular. Oh, there you go. That's how you know right there when it starts bleeding, okay. just like that. Two in the pluckers seem to work better than one. So kind of push each other into the fingers. And you can get the quicker. Just so we're all so, clear, they're very dead. 165. To 170. You don't want the gloves? I don't. Where are they? They're right there. I got them out for you. What? Right here. No, I didn't know we still had them. 165 to 170. Dunk them like four or five times or so. Make sure the feathers are pull them up out of there. All right. Are they pull, coming start out? Start the plucker first. Start the plucker first. You got to get it All turning. Right. Take them out with virtually no feathers. Oh, I mean, yeah, I want to tell a lot of times you. the now, tail feathers will stay. This is a in, piece but... of optional equipment. You can hand pull the feathers, but which them. it might be worth the money to just pull the feathers by hand if you're not doing a lot of chickens. Yeah. We sometimes did like. All right, all right. I got most of the feathers off. I'll get the rest off when we're rinsing and cleaning. And any of these little fine hairs, you might need uh, like tweezers or something to pull them out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the feet off first. You see where there's a joint here, where it bends. And you're just gonna cut in there, just like that. Pull on the other side. And if you do this right, it should, there it goes, pop right off. We're gonna do the other one. Cut right in between the joints, both sides. Right there. All right, next, now that we're done with the feet, see how the feet look normal, like can you buy them at the store? Just like that. Next, we're gonna remove that part that I was talking about, the crop. The crop, that the part that has the food. Now this, I didn't give them grit, so it might still have food in it, but I didn't. I did stop feeding them. It doesn't look like it might have a little food. Not a lot though. These can get really big. So we can see where the crop is. See this uh, blackened pouch? That's where their crop is. And you're just going to bring pull it away from the side of their neck. Take a knife to do this if you need to. Okay. Okay, next, so we've loosened it. It should come out the back when we're done back here. I like to count. Okay, next, right here, we're just gonna cut in. Don't cut in too far. And right when you see where that opens up, you're gonna stick your hands in and pull it open just like that so you can get your hand in and you're just going to scoop along the wall until everything should loosen up i forgot to move the windpipe i just realized that all right you see this zebra type of pipe right here like striped just see it it's like zebra like it's striped i'm just gonna Get that out. Okay. There it comes. There it is. Okay. Now back in here. Ugh, gross. Okay. Back in here. We're going to just scoop all the organs okay, out of the chicken. 
And here comes the crop. See, there's the crop, the thing that we were um, loosened up. Dad, we have one more. Just gonna scoop everything out of here. No. That's its boy parts. It's boy parts. Oh. <laughs> it has really big boy parts, actually. Oh. What's that? Um, that is a lung. A lung? Okay, so you don't want to pull this tube off. Or else you're going to make a mess for yourself. The way you're going to get the rest of this out now is you're just going to... There's a bone right here. And you're just going to cut right along there. And on both sides. Just cut down. All the way down. Just like that. Then you're going to flip it over. And we're going to remove this tail. So you're just going to come up here. And cut down a little bit diagonal. Just cut it right off. Okay? Just like that. There's the whole tail and everything. See? Alright, so we're gonna skip, make sure there's nothing in there. We can look. See everything's out. You can see the rib, see the bones here. If you're there's something like this on top of there, you still have lungs in there, which is fine. You can leave the lungs in if you want, but we usually take them out. Okay, so next we're gonna take the organs that we're going to keep. So right here is a heart. This is another lung. Right there, that's a lung. This is a heart right here. This is your heart. We're gonna keep that. Now right here, this is the part you do not want to pop. Let me see if I can find it. There's a part here that you don't want to pop or else it'll ruin your chicken. Oh, right there, it's really small. Right there, see that little green pouch? Really tiny green pouch. That's the gallbladder. And this dark red thing is the liver. So you don't want to pop the gallbladder because whatever that green bile gets on is pretty much ruined. So we're going to do the pinch method. Here, so you just pinch right where the gallbladder and the liver connect and pull it off. Or you can just cut the liver off and leave some behind. I like to get the whole liver, so I'm going to pinch that. And then one other thing we're going to keep here is the gizzard. And that's this really big, fatty looking pouch. So you're just going to, I like to hold it up like this and just cut everything off. All the intestines. Right here. Okay, so there's your gallbladder. I'll show you how to clean that out in a minute. This is all gonna be trash. So I'm just gonna set that aside. And the lungs are trash. So we have our liver, our heart, and our gizzard. And you just to clean that out, you're just gonna cut it open. Just like this. Okay, and it still has food in there. Obviously, that's going to have food in it. Can you pass me that bucket? So we're just going to put our trash in here and the food scraps. Oh, look, there was a bug in there. <laughs> and we're going to just rinse it out. So, and just rinse this gallbladder out. Nice and clean gallbladder. John, can you bring the heart and lungs over too? So we keep the gizzard and we also do keep the feet. And I'll show you guys how to get those cleaned up later. You're just going to rinse everything off. I'm not going to clean those up right now. You want to get the inside of the chicken real good. And so I'm going to just take the rest of these feathers off. And we make sure all the feathers are off too when we process so we don't get any. Okay, and just clean out in there real good. But the important thing is just to get the inside, just like that, get in there real good, and get the outside real good. Get the rest of these feathers off. Okay, now we're gonna get them in the cooler, the salt water bath. This is nice and cold. We're just gonna put them in here, let them soak. For at least an hour but no longer than 12. All right and I'm just going to show you guys real quick what you have to do with the feet to get them ready for uh, making chicken broth. You're just going to go ahead and uh, clip the nails. And we already did this part but I'll just show you. 
that you just want to wash them clean. And now that they're all nice and clean, I'm just going to set them aside and they're ready to use in um, broth. So I realized while I was editing the calling chicken video how long it was and I decided not to put the differences between hybrid and heritage breeds in the same video. So if you guys want to see that one, you'll have to subscribe and stay tuned. Um, but thanks for watching and make sure that you guys stay tuned. We're going to be, I'm still doing the part two where I show you guys how to debone whole chicken and canned chicken in pint jars. Um, we're going to be raw packing. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, so make sure you guys just watch our channel. I will be posting the differences between hybrid and heritage and the part two calling. So We'll see you guys soon. Bye.